My name is Mai, and I'm a Muslim American-born Egyptian. My parents moved to the United States from Egypt before I was born because they felt that America would provide better education and job opportunities. My childhood in America was different than my childhood in Egypt. In America, my family felt a sense of isolation. They were also constantly working to provide basics, so it was hard for them to really take us anywhere. But in Egypt, my parents felt a sense of safety and comfort and used to take us out all the time. Third of my life so far was spent in Egypt. I moved back and forth at least five times. I was there at different stages of my life and absorbed some of each culture. In Egypt, I miss the people, the food, the overall atmosphere of family. Family that I can only remember through memories and stories told to me by my parents. Because of my parents' sacrifices, I always felt the pressure to work harder. In 2013, my parents, brother, and I went to visit Egypt. We had so many plans to meet with family, revisit the streets of Cairo, and to explore the many tourist attractions like the Pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. Unfortunately, we went during a time of political instability. Two days after we landed, the president was removed from power. People were celebrating, the streets filled with the cars honking in unison, and I was in awe. I felt connected because I was there, but at the same time, I felt disconnected because I didn't know what it meant for the future of the country. And I don't think that they knew either. My disconnection in that moment reflected a greater feeling of disconnection from certain aspects of my Egyptian identity, like the language barrier that had formed. While I feel disconnected in some ways, I feel very connected in other ways. To the people I remember, the food my parents make, the music my parents and I listen to, and the community of friends I have who share similar cultural experiences. Growing up in New York City, I was introduced to so many people from all different walks of life. In a single classroom, students came from all over the world. Merhaba, benim ismim Selen ve ben hem Türk'üm hem de Amerikalıyım. Bonjour, je m'appelle Chankel, j'ai 16 ans et je suis une Américaine et Haïtienne. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Шерен Айзерсад, я из Беларуси и я американка, и я человек. Ассаламу алейкум, я из Михана, я из Москвы и Америки. Hello, my name is Peggy, I'm a Chinese person, but I'm not a Chinese person. Our differences make us united. Maybe the thing that connects me the most between the two, both Egypt and America, is my religion. I'm not just Egyptian. I'm not just American. I am Muslim. In both countries, I am able to see a fellow Muslim and say the same greeting in one unified language, and they would still understand me. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon you.